Hello, in this quick video, I'll walk you through how you can build a fully automated competitor analysis system using N8N, Airtable, some free scrapers from Appify and also Rapid API, and OpenAI. What this workflow basically does is it monitors your competitors and sends you a clean weekly report like this. Here's the report it sent me, and you can see it has links and sources as well. It also has screenshots of visual changes. You can get a screenshot of visual changes on the website. It also gives a summary of the screenshot and provides a summary of the visual changes based on the screenshots of the website. You can also see that we get LinkedIn updates, Twitter updates as well, and all the sources that it used. This can be sent every week or at whatever time interval you want, and you can get this template for free. The link is in the description. I'm now going to execute the workflow to show you how everything works. The workflow first starts by pulling data about your competitor from Airtable. If you go over to Airtable, you can see that we have Honda here as the competitor. Here's where you can enter your competitor's details. We enter the website, the website news section, the LinkedIn page, the Twitter page, the YouTube page if they have one. To make this even stronger for a more improved version, you can also add Facebook and Instagram as well. However, as of now, I'm going to leave it at that. It then picks up that data and uses this website research agent. What the website research agent does is it performs intensive research on their website using the Tavily tool. The Tavily tool basically works like this. It uses Tavily web search to find the latest news about the company. Once it calls the Tavily tool, it then goes to their website and scrapes the website using this website scraper sub workflow. What basically happens here is it's going to use the Appify website content crawler. I'm going to show you how to set this up as well later in the video. It then aggregates that data and sends it back to our website research agent. Finally, this screenshot tool takes a screenshot of the website. Once it takes a screenshot using the Appify scraper, it then uses OpenAI to analyze that image and sends the results back to the main agent. With this screenshot tool, the agent can be able to notice any changes within the website over a period of time. Once that's done, it moves on to the social media agent. This basically scrapes their social media pages using a LinkedIn analyzer and a Twitter analyzer as well. The LinkedIn analyzer scrapes their LinkedIn page and sends the data back to the main agent. Then the Twitter analyzer, or X analyzer, scrapes all their X posts and sends the data back to the main agent. Once that's done, it's going to write a report using the information from the social media agent and the website agent. It takes information from the website research agent and the social media agent writes the report. And once the report is ready, it sends it to you by email. This can be scheduled to run every day or weekly as well. While it runs, I'll show you how to set this up. To set this up, you should first go ahead and create an Airtable base. Set up your table with these fields, competitor, website, website news, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and last modified. These are the important ones. You can also add other fields that may seem best fit, like Facebook or Instagram if you want. You can then set up Airtable credentials. If you do not know how to set up Airtable credentials, please refer to the video on how to set up Airtable in the channel. Then you're going to need to configure your API credentials. Tools like Tavily, the website scraper, and the screenshot tool use Appify APIs, which you'll call via HTTP requests. Go to Appify, head to Settings, APIs and Integrations, and copy your Appify API key. Then just paste it into the credentials in N8N. Next, copy the Tavily workflow, go to a new canvas, paste it there, give it a name of your choice, then come back to the main workflow and search for the workflow you just named. You'll do the same for the screenshot tool and the website scraper tool used in the website agent. For the social media research agent, we use Appify for the Twitter analyzer, but for the LinkedIn analyzer, we use Rapid API. Go to rapidapi.com, search for a LinkedIn scraper, and use the fresh LinkedIn profile data scraper. Once you subscribe, copy the request URL and paste it into the HTTP request node in N8N. A quick note on report writing. I'm using GPT-5 Mini because it takes a lot of tokens to generate this report. It combines data from both previous agents and formats everything in HTML. After that, set up your Gmail node and make sure to configure and verify the credentials properly. 
If you don't know how to set up Gmail credentials in N8N, I have another video on this channel about it. Feel free to check it out. And that's how you set up your competitor analysis system. To make it fully automated, replace the manual trigger with a schedule trigger so it can run every Monday or however often you like. Remember, you can get the full template from the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.